Greetings everyone, here's Ludwig and this is the game Rule the Wave 3. Uh, I never played the first and the second part, I only read about this. Uh, this is, it just, just comes out I think some weeks ago. And uh, it is a, I think, Navy designer game. I saw it how uh, the historical gamer played. He plays a Italian nation. And I was thinking, okay, I could maybe try this also. I played a little around, learned some basics, understand the mechanics more or less. But uh, because I'm from Germany and uh, we all know that uh, normally Germany would uh, bring peace, order, justice and development to all of the nations around the world if there was no evil British-French coalition and stop Germany in the First World War. So we had to delay this all. Now we have European Union and of course European Union. European Union is nothing more than Germany. Everyone knows this, everyone agrees with this, so only the British, they run away, they cry cry and want the empire back. So now they have the empire back, or not, I don't know. And uh, and the French are buddies with Germany, so everyone is happy with this. Uh, even the Austrians are happy, I mean. Good, so uh, this is 1819, so to have a slow start, oh, hmm. it is also still the uh, active... Uh, battle phase or time. There's always war in this game. And with Germany you have uh, some more or less uh, the economy starts not very strong but the potential is great. The navy is weak but you have a uh, good technology background. So you will normally develop technology faster than other nations. So if you can keep the peace for the first 10 or 20 years, then normally it will make Germany stronger over time. I also try to play this game not uh, too gamey or crazy and try to conquer in 10 years everything what is possible. More to play it maybe a little realistic or at least try. So I choose now Germany and uh, I think you can see here the there's some, some benefits, uh, you get uh, what guns you have, but uh, also where you get bonus stuff like this. And uh, cautious means, I think more or less that I, uh, I think the admin or the nation will always try to send less ships to a battle or to avoid battles if it's not a clear easy victory, something like this. Uh, and technology leader I think means that even simply you can develop technology faster. And bombastic head of state I think costs you money, I don't know more. There's a, you can read it. Uh, there's a, unluckily the game is missing a little uh, tool tips or in-game tool tips. Good. Uh, Germination, 1819. The historical gamer say super large because this is more or less what is realistic. Then I read also that many say better keep research a little lower or you have much too early maybe aircraft. I find out that I think harsher peace deals is better because if you, you fight sometimes very long and then you get only one colony and I think this this is too little compared to First World War, you find, and then nearly, nearly everything changed. So, and then I can also add the slower aircraft development on top on this maybe. Yeah. And then I maybe make a new slot with game nine. Ah, I forgot to change the name. Anyway, I think that is not so important. So, the game create for some basic fleet. And uh, I think you can also change the background because I did this normally. I think preference, uh, sound, video, uh, yeah, background. Background is better gray. And I 
also want some deck maybe some brownish color Bordeaux red I don't know, I think this is maybe better and I think then you must close it and open again did they detect it? I don't know what Normally he must change the background. Uh, maybe I must make a turn, I don't know more. Um, preference. Uh, there was something else I want to change. Uh, yeah. Oh, sometimes the game stops. Do not... I want not uh, always stop because open fire message no i don't want to. the game stops in all in this uh, basic stuff far too often it always interrupts the battles i don't like this too much uh if capital ships have flotation damage this is okay uh flotation this is all air combat i think this is later not so important uh pause if torpedo hit yeah maybe if your ship sunk Airstrikes, I don't think this is so important. Uh, here you can say how much you want control. If you control nearly nothing, if you can control more or less uh, a capital ship and everything near to the uh, flagship, or if you can command everything. There so you get uh, then, uh, this is, you get all points, 10% less points, and you get minus 20% points. Uh, this is also here. Flash fire risk or friendly, you can kill of course your own ships with you run your torpedoes a little too aggressive. Uh, use English names for ranks. Maybe more easy to understand who's the commander. Auto sign officer uh, officer. I think also maybe okay. Okay, keep it like this. Good. Uh I really don't know why the background is not changing. Okay. Oh wait. Gray. Wait. And text is black. What is this? Ah, now it's changed. Uh, I think it's a little more easy to read. Maybe this is too dark gray. Light gray. Ah, maybe this is better. Um, and some people like to read and write. How this works? No, not good. I'll keep it. It's also not too important. Good. So Germany, uh, you start with prestige 20, you can see if you below 16, then you more or less get kicked out of the game, then you lost the game. Uh, fleet morale, I think it can only go negative. If your fleet morale, I think, is level less than... It's, at least uh, it will impact your, uh, your combat. And I think if it's really too bad... Uh, this can maybe be a problem if your ships don't want to even fight more. Unrest level is uh, normally if the nation uh, is uh, yeah losing their mind and then the revolution and then you the game is not over. I think not must be over, but then you have a new parliament or a new government and then you lose prestige or money and whatever. It's also not good. Keep it stable. Your shipyard dock size 12,000, so I cannot build anything over 12,000, but I can build this up later and here you have my budget so this is a yearly bud budget but the game is broken in months so you play per month every turn is a month so you have monthly income most important is normally only this is what is in your bank account and that is what is coming next month on your bank account already deducted and you must keep this always in the blacks and you can try to keep the monthly balance of course uh, yeah, 
in your favor. To say it simple. Research. 10 is more or less the optimum. You can go up to 12, but uh, I think it's more or less like uh, you pay 11%, but you only get 10.5%. You pay 12%, you get only 11% of uh, real money in your research. So 10% is true 10%. This is the maximum. Then you have here some... Uh, you can uh, develop everything normal or you push it. So I say I push what is Germany good in because it's better to have something very good and the rest is coming sooner or later. So I push where Germany is already uh, in favor to have this uh, on my maximum. And uh, doctrine is normally... You can change your ammunition, how they want load and whatever, but most important is, uh, I say, give me gunnery training, this gives you, uh, here's the tool takes missing, it costs you, you can only choose two of them and damage control is not possible now, so, uh, but this means you have, I think, 10 or 20% better uh, hit chance, but it costs you money. And uh, it needs one year to really get this bonus. So start it early. Um, more is here normally not first important. So doctrine, research. Uh, then Germany have here some ships already. You always start with a fleet. Some battleships, but this it's always different. This is automatic uh, or by random choice. So this is a good mix, I would say, of some battleships, some battle uh, heavy cruisers or armored cruiser and light cruisers and corvettes. Uh, problem is uh, this is really only a type, and a battleship can be three thousand tons, and can be also more. And you can see that there are some different classes. This is the Weissenburg class and the Wittelsbach and this is also uh, why he changed it like this. Very strange why he mixed it up. Hmm. Because he chose name before, okay. Maybe displays... Oh, yeah, this makes also no sense. Anyway, yeah, and keep it like this. So if the... Ah oh, yeah, this is now better. So I have three battleships of this type. Then you can see two. This is the main turret, and then you have secondary and uh, uh, support guns. All of these uh, designs are not so great, but at this time, German's navy was third class, if best at all. Uh, this is the Wittelsbach, uh, similar layout. But you can see the tonnage is less. And heavy cruisers or armored cruiser can have more tonnage than a battleship. It's really, the game uh, sometimes have strict orders. What is a battleship and what is a cruiser? It's normally related to belt armor or guns. Uh, there's some limitation. Like uh, if the gun is too big, it's automatically a heavy cruiser, not more light cruiser. And if you make too much... Uh, Belt armor, then it's a battleship and not more cruiser. Uh, so this is my heavy cruiser, and I would say this is a good layout. I like this is what I also built, more or less. Uh, this I like. This is a uh, softer, much smaller. Normally, I would prefer to build than only light cruisers. Uh, this is also a light cruiser, even if you two H inch guns. But uh, the point, the difference is the belt armor. Three and a half, I think, is the maximum for a light cruiser at that time. This may be changed also over time. And there are many other uh, classes. I have still this. Uh, this is even lighter light cruiser with only five inch guns. Fraunlob. Also similar layout. And uh, this one is only four inch. So this is, yeah, hard to say. This is maybe only for anti-Corvette duty. 
you need uh, ships, uh, depending on if you have colonies, you need co uh, ships uh, patrolling your colonies in foreign station. If you have a war, you need uh, ships to patrol or protect your own merchant shipping. Then you need commerce raiders. So you can build different ships with different purpose and you don't even, you don't must always build big. But speed is of course important. And you can also see that most of my battleships are simply very slow. Of course, battleships are not fast, but they're also slow. And they're short ranges and crampet. So they're really, this is, I think you call harbor defense battleships or something like this. There was a name for it. Um, nearly similar to like a monitor, but I mean, monitor is very slow. I think six, seven knots. This is a little faster. Good. The map. And of course, at this time, Germany had some colonies already in Africa and here in Asia. And uh, you can also check here how uh, uh, the situation. And you can simply see that German's budget. And I think this is the first important information than maybe technology but also fleet tonnage so German's fleet tonnage is smaller than Italy just barely catching Spain the budget is also it's Germany is at this time which is at the same level like Austria Hungary Spain USA maybe only Japan is smaller but Russia and Italy, France and Great Britain, they're always stronger. Germany's advantage is really only that the budget will normally increase over time faster than other nations and the uh, technology will increase faster than other nations. Only British will maybe always be number one. And the next is that you can see the numbers of ships is one important factor, but then also you can see tonnage. So the British have 10 times the tonnage of battleships. They don't have really much more heavy cruisers, but they have a lot of more tonnage and light cruisers. And uh, yeah, you can see the numbers is only double, but the tonnage is much more. So numbers is more flexibility, but tonnage is normally what you would let you guess more if this is a powerful navy or not. Yeah, so. A lot of talking. As many know this game already. Uh, so normally let's start. I must first on, at the beginning there's not really too much to do. What I like to do is normally uh, make efficiency first and try to not waste too much money. So we have here a lot of ships on active fleet. This burns maximum money. Well, the, yeah, the maximum what the ship will need to be ready for war. But active fleet means ready for war. And uh, this is of course a lot of waste of money. So we have also a lot of ships are on yeah, outside of Germany, but I don't really need so many. And if you see a sea, this means normally it's built for colonial or yeah, for foreign station duty. This gives you a bonus if this ship is outside. So this is okay. So you can normally say foreign station, then it will stay there. And foreign station. Then I maybe call this one back. We will see if this is uh, still okay. I call this also back. And uh, the rest of the, oops, wrong button. All of these other ships, they are more or less in, the, in Europe. I can tell them go to a reserve. This saves me uh, money. You can see here roughly maybe a third or even a little more. And this is more or less like a ship is, uh, it is not ready immediately for war, but in one or two, three months, normally you can reactivate the ship to 
like it is ready. You can also more like more sport it, uh, but this is more or less like uh, you strip it of all the active crew, only maybe 10% of your crew is on board and only keeps the ship ready for a later active duty again after a build up of up to six months. It can save more money, but in this case, it's also not more count like active. A reserve fleet is still active. It will still show up here in the number game because this is more or less like a, the game calculates active ship and reserve ships always in a, what ship is here active in a, in a, in its zone, and then you get points for this. Uh, the British, yeah, I think the calculation is only not okay now, but uh, the British have more or less like uh, 200 points, 174 for the French and the Spain also have ships here, and the Russian have a little. This is North European zone, this is this zone, not the Baltic and not other, I think. But so long everyone is in peace, it normally doesn't matter. If it's the political situation changed, then uh, it's have an impact. Good. I make first now a turn, then you get here that uh, ships lay down and blah blah blah, and uh, yeah. So far, if nothing is so, if tonnage on foreign station is okay, then everyone is happy. That is most important. And uh, so long this is not here orange, it's first normally nothing green, brown, orange, uh, yellow, orange, red, and if red is too late, then it's water normally. Good. So I built up here some money. I normally won't wait until my ships are all back in uh, Europe. They're all in reserve fleet now. Foreign station for these two ships because they are colony duty. Uh, this one, this ship just arrived. This is a battleship I can also bring now in reserve. So I can change here from 106 to 53. Oh, exactly 50%. Oh, so there's only one third. Uh, so save more money. At the same time, I can now create maybe a new ship. The question is what I need first. Yeah. Sometimes you will get uh, special missions like uh, build more destroyers, build more light cruisers, heavy cruisers, battleships. Uh, I would say I maybe build first some battleships. Is a little related to what guns I have. So I make normally all this auto design first. Uh, the problem is uh, I don't have level minus. There's a rule in the game say if you have a quality minus two guns, you cannot later upgrade them. If you have a quality of level minus one or zero you can always change them but if you have a minus two then you cannot change them why i don't know i only it is a rule so i don't like to make a design with guns of minus two so i would better maybe go for a heavy cruiser uh, let's try to make an auto design for heavy cruiser then i have normally a standard display First, from nearly 9,000 tons for, uh, for 8,000 tons for heavy cruiser now. 8 inch guns, okay. 6 inch guns, uh, secondary. 8 maybe, casemate, yes. But we are in Victorian time, so I say no Victorian. And uh, maybe 3 inch is also okay. Uh, what a heavy cruiser need uh, normally no deck armor, not in this time. Secondary guns need two, top need only one. A belt of four. Then I can check, then the game say, yeah, okay. So there's a technology problem that you, if you make a heavy cruiser or then you say you must have normally nine inch or you have problems here and your rate of fire is less than 10% now. But uh, if I go nine inch, then I have minus two and this I don't want. 
so I stick with 8 inch. Uh, I have this little tonnage left where I spend this. I can also make my cruisers simply smaller. Uh, you can see that uh, what this ship cost and uh, how many months I need and what this costs per month. I could now try to make this ship simply smaller. It costs uh, me less money. But the time to build is the same. So I maybe try to find out if I can do something with the speed. Then there's always, depending on your technology, an uh, optimum of speed. Uh, you can see this in uh, normally in cost. You can see that if I want change from 20 to 21, it's cost me roughly 500 per month. If I go from 20 back to 19, I get only 400 back. The next is 300. So, and then it gets even cheaper. So, more or less you can say maybe 19 is now the optimum because then it's getting really expensive and then it's getting more expensive. So, it's always 100 more. So, 19 is maybe a good compromise. Then I like always to overarm, uh, protect my turrets because they they blow up if you don't do this easily. Uh, you need always medium speed and uh, normal engines normally, normal belt I would say. Uh, secondary guns need, I think normal, it's two inches enough to protect against splinters. I could also go maybe with 5 inch belt armor and uh, 6 inch on turret. Uh, then I still waste too much uh, weight. So I could really make these ships maybe smaller. Oops. Like this. Then it's a 7000 ton. 19 is okay. Protection is okay. Uh, maybe I can make the tower better. And I always like to keep a little weight left. Uh, because if you make a redesign, then you can later upgrade your guns. And uh, if you don't, if you completely consume all of this weight first immediately, then uh, you have trouble. Because newer guns now are normally always more heavy. Or if you want fire control equipment or whatever you want, it costs you normally weight. So I always keep some percentage. Uh, free. So I would say this is a good design. It's only have a problem with the uh, main turrets, but this is okay. So I would say yes, I keep this design. This I must pay some money for the design. I need three months. And uh, yeah, at the same time I can uh, fill my bank account and then I start the production of these ships. So next turn. And then you have always this uh, events. So, and then normally it's always a question what you want. You want uh, trouble or you want money or whatever you want, prestige. Uh, and I would say with France, I, I normally, with Germany, I don't want any war with England, France. Italy and Russia is maybe okay, but France and France and England are really too bad, so I would say avoid it for the first 10 years. So I say uh, get the tensions down, if it's possible. Oh yeah, at least a little. So next turn, I have really nothing more to do first. A spy from Japan. Japan, of course, I can get... Uh, because then you have obviously this... Uh, this will increase the tension with Japan and maybe if it's in this, this is more or less uh, the meaning that there's a I think 50 50 chance that you get more money, but it's not a must. So I have now once one that uh, 36,000 yearly income and it changed by maybe nothing. This is maybe simply only increased budget by because the industry increased. And then you always can see that uh, the other nations also try something. And now my new design is ready, so I say yes, let's build some ships. 
You can see there are also other ships original from the game, but uh, yeah. I say build me four, which spent uh, I can go six, then I have all my budget, and if I go eight, then I go over budget. But four ships are always one division, so I, w I always try to build in divisions. So I would to build here now two divisions heavy cruisers. I would say, okay. And of course I'm running out of money, but I have uh, three ships under construction already. And they will be normally finished before I'm running out of money. I don't like to build, hold, build, hold, construction. If you watch the historical gamer, he has a other budget uh, method. He like to maybe play Italia style, like uh, let's make big party today and uh, be burned out of money tomorrow. So of then normally I don't have spice, but still I can get some informations. Okay, why not? Then I make maybe low spy activity on uh, the nations with a uh, good tech. Uh, average, average, average. Every everyone is average. Bis the only one is Japan. So everyone you can make normally low, but not on Japan because it's useless. I, of course, you can get also blueprints from Japan for what chips they have, but who, who cares? Then there's a race with Spain. I would say, okay, for Spain, I have no problem to go to war with Spain. So for Spain, I will always try to go for war. So my other ships are all in uh, reserve. I have two ships here in... I can put still in reserve and save some more money. Only a little money, but okay. Foreign station is still okay. Then your scientists always try to do something for you, but or they don't try. I don't know. Maybe they only pretend. Uh, oh, Let's go next turn. Uh, yeah. And um, prestige, I think, is always the best. You won't keep the commander, but I think why you won't keep the... No, I go for... Prestige is important. Because prestige is honor, and honor for the emperor and for the kaiser that is uh, what uh, really matters for a German. Yeah, sometimes you have delay, uh, but I still have enough money, it's okay. Then new heavy cruiser enters the navy. Then uh, the tension or the relationship between the nations always is also inf yeah, influenced by many factors, not only your own. And you get also this, especially I think with Germany, you have always this uh, free, uh, a lot of free dockyards and uh, also improvement of industry over time. So I not really build too much uh, the shipyards, at least not early on. I really don't see the meaning for this, at least in the first 10 years. I think uh, there's no need for this, not now. Good. So ships under construction, one more month, then the prince uh, coming online. Now also my new training is uh, active, so crews will have now better chance to hit something. We want the uh, West France tension, lower tension. Mm, I don't want to increase anything now. Good. Colonial crisis with British, uh, with British, uh, I don't want to really have no conflict with the British, so I would say, give me the money, but I can give away prestige, and I keep a friendly tone with the British. Really, Denver go with the British to war, not before 1914, and even in 1914, maybe not more. 
Gut. I have no, no problem more with my monthly budget. Uh, my ships are one year under construction still. Uh, I could start a new design, but I think it makes no sense. I simply, I don't really earn money now. This is just barely enough to keep um, plus minus zero. So I don't need to start a new design now because I would not have enough money to really buy anything. Uh, so I simply let this ships first build and if they coming maybe close to the end I can start a new design maybe for light cruisers or battleships and then I can start the next bunch of ships. So I not try to build everything at the same time. So Russia is uh, approaching us and say, let's be happy together. I say, yeah, why not? Russia is uh, Baltics and you need a buddy. So I say, yeah, let's stay together. And now you can see this uh, letter means we are in alliance. So if uh, I go, normally this is always alliance means always if one of the person or one of the uh, nations go to war, it will ask the other one, hey, can, can you join the war, help us. And then you fight together. But not of, not always immediately. It can happen that they need some time to mm, join the war. So, And after a ship is uh, finished construction, you normally need some time to finish their crew training. So again, I have your three ships on active uh, fleet duty, but this is normally not necessary for me, so I will send, send them back to the surf fleet. Save some money. So I'm now barely minus. Because I just lost money because I make this contract with Russia. And we get here the offer build one more heavy cruiser with a discount of 10% I say yeah okay of course uh, why not you can oh no I take it it's okay tensions with uh, Italy tensions with Italy Italy I don't care Italy is not strong enough so I get one more ship now, now I have nine, but this is also okay, then you have one more backup. Uh, yeah. So you can also see that the Japanese, you can also do this, you let build ships in other nations. The Japanese, I think they, up to 1910, most of the heavy units, they all built in British shipyards, so it's normal. To do this, I think it's simply only more important, more expensive. I never did it. The Italians are coming and they uh, have a new ship, and I would simply say, mm, Give me the money, and I can also build this. Or prestige, I, I better go for more money. Money is always important, I barely can pay back everything. A delay for Blücher, well, so, ah yeah, six, a half years still. Still nothing happened, peaceful world, a spy from the British, ah yeah, let him go home. And again, free dock space. This is a new armored cruiser from the Americans. Ah, twin and single wing towers, okay. But I mean, the Americans, they are far away, who needs them? So now my ships are coming close to finish line.
Oh, the British are not so happy that I was by stealing the technology. Now, yeah, this is only little. And for this, I get some technology. I also let the spy go. So. Good. New heavy cruisers arriving. And many of them. And there is a revolution in Africa. Um, I think we could make a international squadron is better ah i don't like to raise the tension with the british so next time i must please them buy them some tea blücher is finished hamburg is finished Friedrich Karl is finished and uh, fleet tactics and the British? No, I thought they'd take something. So, no. So far, I think no real big change on the map. So, I have now one month more than I have the Friedrich Karl finish. But I could normally start now with a new design. And this is maybe the last thing I can do here today. I still have no new gun, so I go for a light cruiser. Give me a layout of a light cruiser. No, I don't like this. This is a heavy light cruiser, so let's go for 6,000 tons for light cruiser. With uh, 6 inch guns, 4 inch uh, secondary, Victorian, and 12 3 inch. Okay. Uh, I think here you can go maximum to three. If I have now, then they say it's okay. It's only the tonnage is not correct. But in the moment I go for four, ah, four is also still okay. Four point five. Then he asked me and say more or less. This is a force. You cannot. You can only. You cannot get this uh, drawing done. So, 4 is the maximum belt armor I can go. Then I can go for turret top, top and deck top. Turret also 4. Belt 4, turret, maybe I can go over. I need to consume more weight. Uh, Oh yeah, secondary is needed to then I come close. So let's check the the best speed. Uh, if I go speed down then I get 300, 300. So this is each knot is was 300. This is an over 300. So I think 21 is the maximum best speed in this Layout, uh, medium range, normal engines, everything is normal. So what I can add to, what I can change. Ah, I see it. I need double turrets. And then I come close to what I like to have the so weight over or left over. Good. This is a good design for light cruiser. Light cruiser is suffering even more with these uh, guns, but yeah, okay. So I say save this design or prepare this design and in two months I can start this new ships. Uh, again question what you do. You can more or less keep this guy but he's incompetent so I kick him out. Why no? Why there's no question. Four ships finish ready. Uh, Italy? This is a hero. Uh, and the ready, yeah. The design is ready, so yes, I say, give me some light cruisers. 
And then I say, give me eight of them, so two divisions. Uh, cost me 8,000, I have 8,000, so it's everything what I have I spent here now. Good. Eight new light cruisers. Under construction. And Königsberg is finished in eight months. Good. So, I still work up some ships. And after the workup is normally finished, then I can put them back in uh, reserve and then the crew performance will go changed back to poor. But that is normal because the ships are normally only important maintenance. Uh, ready for duty in shortest possible time, but not ready for duty. Oh, the British. Tension is increasing. So, I think this is enough for today. It's now 1892, summer, so two and a half years are finished. Uh, a lot of talking at the beginning, and uh, I try to build here now eight of my heavy cruisers, eight light cruisers, then I've maybe built uh, four new battleships. And once this is done, I will maybe start to decommission older ships I don't need more get simply budget free and build new modern ships because all of these old ships are normally nothing I want to uh, invest more money in you can always make a redesign so it is possible to uh, I can go now here for my Friedrich Karl design then I can always say open design for a rebuild Make no sense now because I don't have new technology. But if I had better guns or better machinery, better armor protection, then I could rebuild this ship at least partly. And sometimes it makes sense and sometimes it makes no sense. Good. Okay, then I save now and see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.